everyone, I'm Holly with Missouri River Soap and I am back for part two of the May Pack and Chat. I had a release just last week and so we're still packing from those. So we have a patchouli rain soap going in. We have an over the moon soap. I really love those ones. We have French Quarter Bakery soy wax melts. Those are always super fun. I will go ahead and flip these because this bottom is pretty nice. If there's shred down there, I don't like to put the window down. And then we have two of the Cranberry Limeade Soy Wax Melts. So you may want to go back and watch the first video. I try not to be too repetitive. So... If you watch that first one, you might get some more information and tidbits, I guess. So I need to decide what samples are going to go in. I think I'm going to put in, hmm, let's do a candied citrus lemon cake donut bear and a soap. Let's, let's pick out a soap here. We had... Let's do, let's do a green clover and aloe. This was such a fun release. I had restocks and some new. I had poured wax till I couldn't pour anymore. So we poured a lot of wax, packaged a lot of wax. There was wax everywhere around here. So it was a fun release. But we're headed on to something special now. We have a special lease coming up next. There'll be some more info on that coming up soon. But it won't be restocks. Well, it kind of will be. But it won't be like standard restocks that I do. Oh, but information. I am probably going to release a batch of figgy cream. And I have some margarita lime salt soaps. I'm probably just going to go ahead and just release those because kind of all willy-nilly here in a week or two. So keep your eyes out for that. It won't just be a straight up release. It's just adding some to the shop. Okay, so this package is going to West Virginia. And we are West Virginia friends now just because we have a little connection. So this um, person had watched one of my videos that went way back and talked about um, how my, I think it was a grandma some layers away. Uh, she died in the Trans-Allegheny, I don't know if I'm saying that right, I never remember how to say that word, um, lunatic asylum. And her family, this, this person, uh, her family actually worked there back in the day and, um, lives nearby so it was kind of cool to have that little connection I think that video was a salt soap video that I talked about why I named my soap 1900 Magnolia but I might have repeated that at some point so this is kind of fun kind of fun to have that connection so we're going in with the strawberry milk bath this box is a little bit big but it's it's kind of what's needed for these bulkier items we have the coffee scrub was back with this release. Now a lot of the products are sold out and I'm so incredibly grateful. It was just, it was really fun guys. That It was fun. And the turnout was very similar to a Christmas release. So it's taken a little bit longer to get these packed but we're, we're working through them. We're over half done. And the I had forgotten that we had Memorial Day weekend, so we kind of had this uh, whole long weekend that we didn't go anywhere or do anything. And I said I was going to utilize the day to spend time with my family, but I actually worked worked Sunday and Monday up here. So that's the way that's the life of a small business owner, right? When your your days off, you just work a little different sometimes. Than standard. I didn't pack orders, but I did make soap and washed all my dishes, and I had to finish um, finish labeling a few things. So we have a patchouli rain. Let's just put that on top. 
And we have a confetti cake, marshmallow wax melt. Love it. And lemon cake donuts. Oh, so I have a story. So, okay. I had donut molds from way back. And they were these ones. But they had a really big, um, they have a bigger hole. They're a little different. I'll just show you. So this is the mold that I use for these donuts. And you can see how it has this really big doodad there. Well, it can make it a little hard to unmold them. So this is what I had originally, but I had re made an order. I mean, we're talking several years ago still. So I reordered some more, and they came in like this. And see, it has a much smaller... Um, has a much smaller design there, let's see. So that's what those ones look like, you know, so they're a little bit different. So after the last release that was just so awesome, I'm like, I need to buy more donut molds, forgetting that I had these, but I knew they were different. So I didn't really think about it. So what I did was I ordered, thinking I was ordering more of these, and I got a whole bunch more of these. So, we have two different shapes going on, and these are just a hint wider so they don't fit in my regular square bags as well. So I discovered that I could order these, these ones still because they're easier to unmold. So those are on their way to me now. So hopefully we can be consistent. I've got molds coming out my ears now, but the inconsistencies just drive me nuts. But we made it work for this release so that we could get these uh, donuts out to everybody. Donut wax melts. They smell good, but they're definitely not edible. Even, I ordered some new of the macaron too, and they came in a little bit different. But, that's fine. We're just going to make it work. So there we have, those are all in. Let's do... Okay, let's do a rise and shine. I love that soap. And we'll do trying to think already what's down in there. Already forgot. Let's see. So we had the scrub in the milk bath. We had one soap and a couple of wax. So we'll just do the rise and shine. And let's look it over. Let's do have some cakey things going on in here. We did confetti cake. I think I'll pop in a French Quarter bakery. Those are all so good. And I'm not sure what people have bought before. So I get sometimes it probably comes in as a duplicate, but I hope you enjoy it anyway. Then with the invoice. So it is really nice having um, labels printed on a on a roll that's really it's really quite handy I should have done it forever it does cost a little bit more um, compared to when I did it myself and punched it and everything but it is a time saver and time is money too so, so here we go so there we go alright so the oh I've got one more smaller one before I have a really big one all right, so in this order, we have a oatmeal, milk, and honey. And we have a rise and shine. Confetti cake, marshmallow wax melt. I'm going to go ahead and cover this up. I feel like it gives a little bit of a scent barrier, too. I don't need quite that much. And then in with the French Quarter Bakery. A couple of those. For samples, let's put in a Cherry Dippity Donut. Light it right there like so and let's do a luscious lemon so in with the invoice and 
card. Get this all wrapped up. I feel like I don't have anything to say at the moment, which is kind of a shocking situation. I don't know. I've mostly just been packing the orders. Um, oh, the main reason why I haven't had very many soap making videos is that I did just a huge stretch of remakes and then didn't film necessarily all the new ones. I do have a couple of videos, but I don't know that I'm going to put those up. But I'm filming all of the soap making videos for this next special release. And then I'm just going to release them all um, in, a, in a certain time frame. So I didn't want to go ahead and put them up quite yet. Okay, packing up the last order. I've got quite a bit here. We're combining several. We have Calendula Coconut Cream. And I'm hoping it'll all fit into here. I think it will. Let's see. That won't. So we'll turn that one over. We have four of the triple milk also. We'll set that aside. We'll put one underneath. So we have... A Cowboys and Angels. I'll put that underneath and then we'll put the two here. We have three strawberry champagne. I love this soap. It's so good. My picture, I feel like my picture didn't really do it justice. The gold kind of champagne-y color swirls. But I went with what I had. We've got a green clover and aloe. Patchouli Rain. We have two sunny beaches, so let's shift that over. Let's see here. We've got a Rise and Shine and a Oatmeal Milk and Honey and a Coffee Bean. So I think what we'll do. Actually, let's put this pink sugar clamshell right on top there. Alright, so now we have some wax. We have a unicorn sweet treat. And two confetti cake marshmallow. Okay, good. We have Huckleberry Sugar Blossom. Now some of the wax has some frosting. Now that's very typical on the um, with the soy wax as, as the uh, temperatures are fluctuating. And the mold I use is kind of a thin mold. So it's not retaining the, the heat for very long. Anyway, it, just, it has more of a rapid cool down which causes the frosting. But that won't be any problem in the actual melting process and move those around just a little bit. I'm going to stand those peach ones up right there. Give it a little cushion. So now we have four donuts left. I wonder if these bears would fit. I think I'll leave those there. Let's see how these are going to go. I like to do face down and face up a lot of times. These 
bears were covering up this little doodad there. Uh, these are still fine. We're going to put these here. Yeah, okay. It's all in. I was just really hoping this would all fit into the one box. And it really simplifies things. So should start thinking about what I'm going to send as samples. I don't think we had any luscious lemon, so I'm going to put one of those in, I think. Where are you? There we go. Let's put in a luscious lemon. And, hmm. Did we do a banana buttermilk? I don't think we did. Now this is going to multiple people within the family. So since it's such a large order, I might tuck in an extra sample, knowing what I know. And let's put in the candied citrus bears. I love those guys. And I think that that's feeling pretty good. Let's go with that. All right, so in with all the invoices and my business card. We're going to try to get this all closed up nicely. Put a, a wee bit of tape to hold that down. Ooh, it just makes it. Just makes it. So I know what I'm going to do after this. It's 5.30 almost. I think maybe I was going to make a batch of soap, but I think I may just call it a day. I am hungry, and I think this is time to go work on dinner and have a little bit of family time. I guarantee you the first words out of my daughter's mouth when I go downstairs is going to be, would you like a coffee and should we all play Uno? And I will probably be like, that sounds good to me. Let's do it. She makes the best coffees for us. My goodness. She wants to open a coffee shop someday. And she really is serious about it. And she makes some pretty awesome coffee. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed these two packing videos. I am probably going to be packing another three days to get caught up on this. I've packed three already, and I have a good, I have a good three days, maybe, maybe four, before I'll be all caught up. I want to thank you for your orders. I think you're amazing and wonderful people. Thank you for watching the video. I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment and share if you feel like it. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.